It's happening. I'm decorating. And it's chaos in here. But those two blow molds are where they're going to be. I saw an account on Instagram. I'm going to have to get the name for you. And I'm going off an inspiration that I saw on there. Oh, I love them there. So those are in place. Nothing else is. Penny's like, where did my family room go? Why can't I lay anywhere? I can't get to anywhere. <laughs> so that's the scoop. Let's decorate. Okay, the first thing I want to do is put out my Jim Shore Nativity, which I found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins last year, I think. Love it so much. But this is, you know, when you have a real tree, it's a little messy. So I try to keep on top of the needle situation. So I'm going to give it a little uh, dust bustering. This is my dust buster that I bought and showed you on this channel like two years ago, maybe three, two and a half. Must have been like two and a half years ago. Still love it. I would buy another one for my downstairs if I had another like 60 bucks because it was not cheap. But I'm still loving it, which is great because they do have a tendency to lose their suction. This one hasn't yet. I do think the battery life has gotten shorter, but that's also because my children like unplug it and plug it and don't plug it and then it sits. And so it's very erratically charged. I say my children, it's only Hannah that lives here. So you draw your own conclusions. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little vacuuming and then we'll put out my nativity. Okay, got the nativity, they're all wrapped. So the idea with Jim Shore, if you're not familiar, very collectible. He always puts like quilts and quilt squares in his art pieces. And I think they, the real ones used to be carved out of wood. Now they're made out of resin on a mass produced scale. I imagine if you have any of his original carvings, they're probably worth a lot. <laughs> okay, so here is baby Jesus and a donkey. I don't know what it's focusing on, so hopefully it's focusing on the right things. I think this is supposed to be a shepherd, but it, um, his shepherd hook is like broken. I don't think I have Joseph, so I think I used him as Joseph last year. I could be wrong. I have to figure that out. Once we see all the pieces that we have. Wise man. Wise man. Hopefully this is Mary. I feel like I had Mary. Uh oh. Do I not have a Mary? I must have Mary. I must have other pieces. I have to go look in the bin. Hold on a second. Okay. I have Mary. I also have a sheep, which I almost broke just now, but it didn't break. So there you go. Okay. Now I'm going to lower the camera so you can kind of see a little better and we'll set it up. I've got the little stable. So you can see it has like the scene in the background I think that's really cool it did get damaged in the bins but you know it's a stable so it's okay if it's a little rustic all right so we'll just put that there so this is what I used as Joseph for sure because I definitely don't have Joseph uh, I'm missing him so that's okay because he doesn't have his shepherd's hook so you'd never know he's not a carpenter and then here's Jesus Mary again. Chris, why can't I keep track of Mary? Oh, here it is. On the arm of the sofa, of course. There's Mary. Let's put Joseph a little more centered. We're going to do this real classic. And then the wise men. We could put one in there. No, let's put the farm animals. Well, like that. If you hear noise, it's my neighbor snow blowing. I really like the sheep. I like that quilt square on its back. Really pretty. Well, I think one of the, we could put one of the wise men in there. I don't want too many things out of the stable because then it'll get knocked over by presents or dogs or things. So. We have a garbage bag under here for water, like to protect the carpet, but it makes for a little bit of a rough surface. Okay. There we go. Super cute. I love it. Looks good. It's a little off center. Maybe we'll just put Mary like that. That's better. Do it very symmetrical. And here's a little close up. Sorry, my dogs are playing in the background. All right, on to the next thing. Okay, here's what's happening. We just ate dinner. 
It was a leftovers night. We call it feed yourself night. So we all eat random things to empty the fridge. Penny expects that if Chris is in this room, she's going to play with him. That's not what's happening, Miss Penny. Okay, so Chris is putting wire because this this mirror is the same mirror I've always used up there or used for several years now. And it's always been propped. And I was like, why have I never hung this? Well, <laughs> there was never a way to hang it. And I guess I never took the initiative to figure that out. So Chris is putting wire on it. This is what I've done up there so far. Obviously, the books are not staying there. They were there from the fall decor. I have to take them out. Got my one blow mold lit. I have to find a light for that one. Those candles won't be there. That tub won't be there. That has ornaments that are going on the vintage ornament tree. But that is going there. I found that garland in a tub of stuff. We cannot remember what I originally used it for. But actually, it might have been in our bedroom now that I think about it, Chris. Okay. That might have been on our, in our bedroom. But, oh, on right? Cabinet. On the corner cabinet. Mm -hmm. But... This will be better. And now I have a little Christmas tree on my dresser, so I don't need that anymore. And I have my Precious Moments tree, which isn't up yet. So so I think this looks really nice with the little icicles. I know technically they should be hanging off the mantle. and Maybe I'll do that, but, eh, you know, I just like the light. So that's what's happening. So we're going to hang the mirror, and then I have two other blow molds. I have a small snowman that looks similar to that. And I have a small Santa, and those are both going to go up there. But I don't know what else yet. I haven't decided. Maybe some thermoses. I'm thinking of bringing in my plaid thermoses. Haven't decided. There's the man. Penny doesn't realize that that bed is way too small for her. Also, she's licking it, which is totally gross. Penny, stop! That's disgusting. using those mirror hangers that we've used before. If you watch us hang that other mirror a few weeks ago, I'll show you the package again. And he's using two because that's what the man at the hardware store said to do. Hang master. Highly recommend. It is hung. I don't know why I never took initiative to get this done before because it looks so much better hanging. I love it. Really good. Thanks, hubby. You're welcome. Looks great. Okay, I found my other blow molds. You see, I have a little Santa, a mini Santa, and a mini snowman. I think they look so cute. Chris is going to help me get them lit. We're going to have to run, like, some sort of extension cord, but that probably isn't going to happen tonight because it's getting late, and I really want to do my Santas. So that's the next thing I'm okay, going to do. Okay, the last thing I want to do this evening is put out my Santas, which normally I put these on the table behind the couch, I'm going to do something different this year. I'm going to try to utilize this cabinet instead and put them in here. So we'll see what I think, how I like it. Let's go ahead and see what I have. I have these. These are in a different tub. They are Fitz and Floyd. It's a set of three. I think someone sent these to me. I can't remember, but they're really cute. So there's that one. I'm trying to not let it focus on my face. And this little one. And they all have birds, and I love birds. You know I love birds. And then this one, he's got like a birdie on his foot. So cute. So we'll have those and then I'll show you what else I have. Who oh, love these guys. He has a friend. Uh, I don't know. These are not gonna fit. That is the issue I'm going to run into. Okay, so I might still have to put some behind the sofa. We'll see. Okay, this is a special piece that the kids always loved. Um, grandma, they're their grandma, my mother-in-law, gave it to us. So for right now, we're going to stick it there. Nothing is, you know, necessarily going to stay where I put it right now. We'll have to see. These are my flocked deer. I don't know that I'll put those in here. Those will probably still go on the table behind the sofa. This is a book that someone sent me that looks like, like it's a box, but it looks like a book. That's what I meant to say. Really cute. Oh, man. Okay. So, oh, that's cute. I like that, but then you can't see the color. Maybe that can be like a background to one of the um, spots. Oh, look at my kitty, my kittles. Um, we sort of had them remake this picture at the tree farm this year. So that doesn't need to go in here. Oh, that's a good one. So I have him. So I'm just going to start like kind of putting things in and then I can 
move stuff around. Let's see. That's cute. These are cute. See, they're going to take up a whole thing. That's not going to leave a lot of space. So we'll see what I think of having the Santas in here. I don't know. Maybe I'll like them better. Oh, this is a chalkware Santa that I got for 25 cents. But he's also probably from the 50s, I think. He's going to be too tall for there. Oh, he's cute. He's going to be too tall also. And then my Jim Shore Santa, I actually do want to put on the couch, the table behind the couch, because I have my Jim Shore snowman that I just found. So Jim Shore is still going to go over there. What is this? Oh, this one lights up. Isn't that cute? I think, is it on a timer? I think it might be on a timer, but I have to set it at the right time of day. Yeah, it definitely has a timer, so I'll have to take care of that tomorrow. That is a cute one. See, now these colors kind of go well together, so he can go with that one. Yeah, I like those together. So this is a tall one. This is a woodland Santa. He's kind of cool. So he'll have to go on the couch table. I need to add something to his hat. It broke a long time ago. I feel like it was a bird. Oh, this is this guy's buddy. I think I got these at Michael's or something. He has coffee and he has he's a toy maker. So I think they're really cute. But, well, they could go like up here. Well, I feel like they might fall over. Okay, we're just going to wait on these until I figure out where I'm going to put them. Another little baby deer. I love my flocked deer. This guy's really cute. I never took the sticker off him. I got him for $2.99 at Goodwill. And it says Taiwan. Cutie. So he's kind of got that red, the bright too. I'm going to put him there. Oh, he's cute because he has a deer. See, I like him with this one. We have like a whole woodland thing. And then maybe I'll put them with my deer. That will work. This I saw on Instagram once. This lady had a, an old toolbox filled with all these like carved looking ones. But I think I only have one. I actually, I used to have two and I lost one. But maybe I redonated it. Who knows? Oh, this is cute. This is like totally 90s. He's cute though. I like him. Oh, and he fits. He's kind of tall. He's going to be blocked. There. We'll just we'll put him there. He has very big feet. I didn't realize I had such big ones. I sort of wish I had smaller ones. This one looks got a, a chip in him, but it looks like um, you know, someone probably painted this at it like a ceramics place. I don't know why he's got all that paper towel on him, but I'm sure it's been there for like 50 years, so I'm just going to leave it. But he's pretty cute. Not cute, but cool. I like him. He's another woodland Santa. I'm going to have like a little collection of woodland Santas over there, I think. That'll be my plan because it's my cabin room, so I can do that. And then we'll have the other more traditional Santas on these shelves. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. It used to have a candle. I think it's Avon. Yeah, Avon. 1982. Yeah. I love him, though. And so I put the succulent in him, which I just I love the color of the succulent with him. I think it looks really cute. So that's one of my favorites. And because it's my favorite, I'm going to put it where I can really see it. That's cute. Maybe I'll put it here. We'll see. We'll see. I can always switch it around. Oh, this one's cute. This one is Home Co. And he's a bank. He's so cute. I'm going to put him right there. So now that I have more, I have fewer than I thought, I can actually spread them out a little bit. Oh, this is my Jim Shore. I love it. Look at him. I got him at a yard sale. He's so cool. And he has like a Christmas scene. Isn't that so neat? Love him. And then I don't remember what this one is. There's another Jim Shore that I am forgetting. Wow, this one's really heavy, whatever it is. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's a big guy. He's big. I don't know where to put him. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that. Maybe by the fireplace. Okay. And that's all that I have. Interesting. I definitely thought I had more. All right, well. Oh, this is a gym shore too. This is my other gym shore. It's an ornament, but I'm gonna put it with the big gym shore. 
and my snowman. So those are going to go together on the back of the couch table. Let's see, and I guess, hmm. Okay, this is cute. A little Santa book. That'll fill up some space. There we go. And since I have extra space, I think I'm just going to move this forward. Let that be highlighted. Oh, man, I really want those to fit. fit. Is he going to fit? Oh, he fits. And he lights up. So, well, I don't know. I don't know. These two are cute together. I like them together. And, hmm. Well, I didn't think I wasn't going to have enough. Hmm. Time to buy more Santas, Chris. Okay. He's kind of lonely by himself. I can't just have him alone. Maybe I will put this little guy with him. This guy looks funny as a, a sitting on a shelf though, because he doesn't have legs. Maybe I will use this one that I wasn't going to keep because I kind of need another. I need a spare. Well, I feel like I need one more right here. Right there, but one that goes with that book. Hmm, red guy. Okay. How about that? We'll just do that. Hmm. Well, I'm not loving this. I mean, I like them over here because they're out of the way. I think I need to put like some like vintage cards, maybe some, oh, bottle brush trees, you know, to fill out, fill them out a little bit. Okay, and here I'm gonna put a little tree. Ah! Boy, oh boy, I'm a little bit of a disaster. Wow, I'm really a disaster. These are professional decorating videos you're getting from me. Okay, so that's good. And I'm gonna put a little tree, a little bottle brush tree with them here. See, I like three better than I like two things. One, two, three, that's good. One, one, that's fine. I feel like I need another something, something here, but this is very vintage looking, so I might hold out for like a vintage wreath or something. So I'm gonna wait on that. He would be cute with like a wreath down here surrounding him or something. Okay, I'm gonna leave it for now. And I'll either update the video once I fix it, or you'll just see the updates in my home. Okay, it's actually the next morning. I'm gonna take care of what's up here now. I changed my mind. Originally I was gonna do a cloche uh, and I was going to put my Christmas carousel, it's like a Scandinavian Christmas carousel, it's wooden. Maybe they're German, they might be German, I don't remember. Anyway, I was gonna put that over there, but then I remembered that last year I had it here and I really liked it here because then it's kind of, you know, part of this room and part of this room. So that's what I'm gonna put here and I might do the cloche over there. I think last year I didn't have this piece of furniture, but the piece of furniture I had was smaller. So I actually think that the Christmas carousel will do just fine here. So let's go ahead and set that up and see what we think. I did put the other Santas over there, which I'll take the camera down and show you in a minute. And then these guys, I'm still not sure where I'm gonna put them because they're too tall for here. So I might find a spot up here. Maybe I'll put the Christmas carousel and then have them, or maybe I'll just find another spot. Maybe on the mantle. Gotta figure that out. So it's a work in progress, you know? That's how my decorating always is. A work in progress. But for now, we're just gonna move this stuff and dust it. This is just gonna get put away in the garage. These are my candies I was snacking on. Good and plenty. No one in my family likes them. So, because no one likes them, I get to have them all to myself. I'm not too dusty here, because again, I dusted this like a week ago. Not too bad, but it does get crumbs on it because we kind of, I sit there and have snacks and then I have to put stuff up here to keep it away from the dog. So it gets crumbly. This lamp has to stay here. I use it all the time, pretty much every day. So, because I cross stitch there and it's just a good source of light. It's kind of dark in this room. There is an overhead light, it's a fan, but we don't like the light it gives off. It's kind of, I don't know, just not pleasant. So we don't use that very often. This will also go away, although I put the plant over on the windowsill with all my other little succulents till spring. Okay, you can see it's already assembled. So I will take the camera down so you can see it better. Well, I can maybe walk towards the camera and you can see it a little better, but basically this one is Santa's Workshop. They're very expensive if you try to buy them in the stores. It has little scenes on each level. 
and you light, you put candles in here and the heat from the candles makes the propeller spin and then it turns the design inside, the scene inside, not the design. And then also to go over here, I have these, this little tree and this little train. It is musical, but I don't want to start it right now. Now, last year I did put my other Christmas carousel here. Maybe I'll do that. Hmm. This one has the nativity scene. I like them together. Yeah. And then we'll put the tree kind of, well, that can't be near it because it can't, I want it to catch fire. Let's see. Let's go over the Christmas tree. There. I think that's good. I like it. Good elements here. All right. I'm going to take the camera down, show this to you up close, and then I'll show you that. Uh, behind the couch table so you can kind of see where we are at with everything. All right, don't mind the mess. It's still a mess from yesterday when I was decorating. It's better though, the tubs are out. <laughs> but Penny and I were playing this morning. Okay, so here's the little tree. And the one Christmas carousel. Baby Jesus. And then here's Santa's workshop. And then my train with the little bottle brush tree. I think it's really cute. Okay, moving on to the next thing. It's gonna be hard to record this right now because of the snow, but you can kind of see. That's my gym shore. Whoops, come on, focus there. Oh, it's the lighting. The lighting is not great for filming right now. So there's gym shore on the left. So you can see I have that one, that one, and that's my snowman that I just found. And then this I found recently in a thrifting video. And then these are my woodland Santas and my laying down flocked deer. Well, they're not all laying down, but my flocked deer and my kids. And then my plants stay because, you know, they need the sun. So we just intermingle them with the Christmas decorations. Okay, it's actually a few days later. You can see I did do a little switcheroo here and I added some Santa mugs. So this is not vintage. It's from Michael's. I actually had bought them. I have two of them with the intention of drinking out of them, but they look really cute with this collection and they filled out the space well. So if I feel like decor uh, drinking from them, I can just grab them, but I have plenty of other Christmas mugs. And I added that when I went through my vintage stuff, I found that little piece. So I put him in with the Santa collection, added a bottle brush tree. So added the Christmas mug there, bottle brush tree, Christmas mug. And then I did uh, find a little, so I had just gotten this little glass Santa. And then I found a little glass snowman. So I did put those together with a little Christmas tree. I thought that looked cute. Added a wreath, vintage wreath here, and then put these three together and a little tree there. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Now I am gonna put a little greenery into that planter, but I haven't gotten around to it. And I was toying with like adding some Christmas balls to the Santa mugs, but I think I'm just gonna keep it as it is, keep it more simple so that the Santas are highlighted more than any of the other like decorative elements that I would put in with them. All right, here is my mantle, all complete. The account that was the inspiration is called Cherished Vintage. And that's where I got the idea to use my blow molds up here, which I just love. I don't know why I never thought of this before. Thank you, Cherished Vintage, for the great idea. Now, the one thing I have, I am still toying with, Cherished Vintage has like on the wall there, it says Jingle Bells, which I think is really cute. I might print something with my Cricut, cut out something with my Cricut with like removable vinyl and put ho 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 on my mirror instead of that wreath. I haven't decided yet. I haven't gotten that far, but this is where the current state of things. And Cherished Vintage used vintage stockings here, but I think I mentioned I really wanted to use my red and black buffalo check as well because that's kind of a theme throughout the room. 
so I just mixed them. These are a gift from someone who watches my channel who's local. These were in her family for years and she's passed them on to me. So now they have a place of honor on the mantle. And my mom-in-law who is here, she'll turn up in a vlog, probably the next vlog. She had the idea, let me bring the camera in, to add some little wooden ornaments to this little mini tree, which I think is so cute. Cherished Vintage has a bunch of larger food tins and that's what they put their uh, blow molds on. I didn't have those, so I used my little Scotch lunch cooler and then you can't really see it, but over here I used my firkin. Don't mind the cords, you know, that's the reality. <laughs> that's the non-Instagram bit of a decorated mantle, right? But anyway, I love it. I'm super pleased. And you'll see in my house, house tour if I decide to change that, which I am leaning towards trying it out in red, removable vinyl writing, ho, ho, ho. I think that might be cute. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I'm going to close this video out and I will have another decorating video soon with my coffee table and some other things. So hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Hope you got some ideas and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.